सो हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू सूरज क्लासेस वंस अगेन टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू रिव्यू वन मोर ट्यूटोरियल सो गोइंग टू द ओपन मेन्यू एंड देन डायरेक्टली कनेक्ट डायरेक्टली क्लिक ऑन दिस आई आर के राइट सो इट विल क्विकली ओपन फॉर यू दिस डिजाइन एंड दिस मॉडल सो इन दिस मॉडल व्हाट यू सी इज दिस इज नथिंग बट अ टिपिकल डिजाइन ऑफ uh dc motor so if you see the dc motor in cross section view you will find there are magnets installed at the periphery on the stator side and on the rotor side there is winding the same thing is reflected here if you see it closely then you will find it is nothing but ndfe8 magnet right and uh, on this rotor side if you see closely then there are windings like this wire written wire written this is winding as this is a preloaded model we have not made it so the design also we can do but it will take some time and for this also simulation for the simulation purpose it is good enough to understand and review the characteristics of magnetism throughout the dc motor so in this dc motor one more thing that you will see here is the shaft and uh, but it is written air so we are just assuming it it is like an air right and other things are same as it is right at the rotor side one more thing that you will observe it is m19 steel that means the rotor is made of m19 steel right and on this c you see it closely this one c this design so this is the slot given for the winding right so that is what given into the uh, i mean uh, ndc motor i will I'll also quickly give you the actual design of dc motor so that you can relate it with that so here we have searched dc motor inside and we have found one of the picture available for the dc motor it is actually drone motors so in this we see that the permanent magnets are on the stator side and on rotor side there is a winding it is quite similar to our motor that is why i have taken this model for reference so in this you can compare there are windings on this stator uh, sorry on this rotor and on this stator there are multiple permanent magnets now you compare it with our model then you will clearly see there is ndfe8 magnets which are housed on to the stator like this you see small small pockets here and uh, this is nothing but the permanent magnets and here is the winding you see the winding is also shaped like this there are this is written wire this is also written wire now let me make it clear for you guys so this one is wire it is clearly written see this wire written right this is also wire so this is nothing but the winding on to the this this part you see clearly this part so the winding is there same way winding is here right and it is made up of m19 steel so same type of structure what we are seeing here these are windings right these are windings like it is also shaped like this windings are housed inside and only thing that is visible which is m19 steel because it has good permittivity so that you know it can act as an electromagnet so that is why we are using this material now the time to simulate this model to see the characteristics of magnets but before that we will also review quickly that what is the material property now ndfe b 40 mg oe magnet which are housed onto the you know stator side it has property like this it has relative mu x mu y 1.049 right and it has coercivity of 97000 sorry 979000 it has electric conductivity of rho 
पॉइंट सिक्स सिक्स सेवन राइट सो दिस इज दैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ दिस मैग्नेट एंड इट हैज एम नाइनटीन स्टील विच हैज कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ रिलेटिव म्यू एक्स म्यू वाई एंड को रेसिविटी इज वन पॉइंट नाइन राइट सो दिस इज द characteristics of two material now see the characteristics of uh, winding it has electric coercivity of 58 and uh, it has uh, this is stranded diameter also written here it has number of strands written here so this these are some winding details right now 1018 steel it has property of this much Uh, relative mu x and mu y okay now let's see if there is something in circuit if circuit a see here winding c c b b b this is a winding right so a b c is frame like this so for the windings the circuit a having the current of 0 amps now let's see what about circuit b it is also in 0 amps and in circuit c it is also zero so circuits are there but no current flowing right so now let's simulate the model i am going to crank it up let's see with the specs so this is our model how the flux lines are distributed in you see here let me first quickly take the readings of any losses there right so zero watts no losses also let me see if there are some losses inside this so here also no losses because as i told you there was no current flowing into the windings that is why there are no losses okay so on to the magnets also if we see no losses okay now let me quickly tell you the flux density so the flux density plot we are plotting here so this plot is coming out something like this and see in this you see the flux density on this part of the rotor is negligible right because it is showing me the color of like this it is less than you know it is almost zero for the other part it is you know visible and it has some value now let's see what is the flux value in this so the total magnetic field energy it is coming out 0.0019 around 19 joules right so this is the value of flux magnetic field right now if you want to see any value you can see here like on to this magnet if you want to observe what is the value of uh, see like hysteresis loss would not be there right or on to the magnet if you want to see the magnetic field co energy it is 0.141523 joules so this way you can calculate and see what are the values of uh, magnetic field what are the values of uh, this flux densities see the maximum flux density appearing on to the periphery of this stator see it is very much brighten at this side so this way you can simulate this model and the region of why this has no value now let me quickly tell you the two magnets are placed like this so that no magnet you know no magnetic field energy would go from here there would be some part of magnetic energy but not on to the inside of this for the other part you see the magnets are directly linked somehow it has you know it has some place to go through the go through this but in this case 
it is clear line there is a gap so that the magnetic energy is not present right that is why the magnetic field energy is here but not here right so that is the reason now one experiment i want to do in this i want to put the current also so let's put the current go to the circuit modify current value let's put the current to 50 amps for circuit a for circuit b let's put the current minus 50 amps for circuit c let's put the current 50 amps so this is my current value that i want to put and i want to simulate it based on this so in this if you see i want to see the characteristics see now as soon as i am putting the current the values are now changing now see in this also there is a current so there is a link of flux in between this right but before that it was not there see now the values are have changed because see as the winding here it may have the uh, same you know opposite direction of poles here like it is an it is as that is why there are more flux lines or magnetic lines here but it the case is not here but the case is here so this is why you know the now the flux values have changed flux values have changed it is now more uniformly distributed because we have put the current into the winding so this is how it will look this is how it will you know work now it will have some losses values as well like see i want to see the losses here on to the winding there would be some losses um uh, there are no losses let me calculate for hysteresis there would be some losses not on to this let's check it out for this one no losses a perfectly ideal motor <laughs> really <laughs> ideal model no losses see but it has some integral result that is 8.2849 watts right and uh, wait what losses we is it total yes it is total losses 8.2849 but on to the periphery on to the stator side there are no losses on to the stator uh, sorry rotor side but the losses are on to the stator side and what about this on to the surface if there are losses no losses okay so these are the results by which we can easily simulate a dc permanent magnet motor model i have also told you what are the results i have told shown you the graph of flux density we have also modified the circuit a bit before in the preloaded circuit there was no current flowing into the winding but we have supplied some current into the windings a b and c and after that we have again simulated the model before giving the current there was no loss into the circuit but after that there are some losses into the circuit and which are not relevant to rotor but relevant to stator the flux values have also changed flux density is also changed so this is the live model of dc motor and we have also taken it the reference of this and in this case let me tell you this is not the rotor it is the stator and it is the rotor because i think it is the drone motor so this will work as a rotor uh, and this will work as a stator same like you know in our ceiling fan so same type of structure here you see and this is the model i hope i have made myself clear if you have still any doubt you can drop in comment box and let us know we will definitely try to clear out your doubts thank you so much for watching this video let's meet you again soon